Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Big Jim with Big Jim Fishing. Today we're doing some maintenance upgrade. Not really maintenance, but we're doing a modification. And I got my buddy Chris Fondren over here today. Say hey Chris. Hey everybody. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna, we're gonna reference Ott Defoe's video that he did cutting down the Humminbird 360. So Chris did his after watching Ott Defoe's video, and I was like, hey, come over and do mine. So we're going to trim mine down, and before we get started, here's the tools we got. Looks like we got uh, a file. Just a file, sawzall, measuring tape, extra blades if you need any. Um, I'll explain this here in just a second and then some tape to clean things up and then uh we're gonna use a just a a blanket of some sort just something to drape over everything so that you don't get any dust anything like that try and keep everything clean cool jim keeps his boat super clean <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to get any more dust on it today yeah and i had a bfl yesterday and i trashed the boat so i spent all day today cleaning it up and i'll just tell you i'm exhausted from it but hey we're going to get to the modification right after this. All right, here we go. All right, so first thing you wanna do, like I was explaining a minute ago, Jim has his boat super clean, so you wanna drape some sort of cloth, something that you don't care about. This is gonna make a lot of dust when we start cutting this down. So uh, we'll try to keep everything clean and tight. So first thing we're gonna do is undo his wires, his cables. Um, on these, it's really it's a really good idea when you're wrapping your, your cables just in general to use electrical tape. Do not use zip ties to do this because it can, it can break the cables or um, damage them and then you won't get a good signal or it won't work and that's not what we're here for. Yeah. If anybody was wondering why I ran my line down the shaft like that, I copied KVD's boat. Yes. I saw it online. And uh, by doing that, that eliminated some of my tangle. But us doing this modification is going to definitely remove any tangle. Uh, the lakes we fish around here are fairly shallow. Uh, this probably wouldn't apply to guys that fish the Great Lakes that really want to get their... 360 down deep they got the long trolling motor but we i'm i'm a shallow water guy so and so is chris so that's why we're going to do this modification yeah yeah and it's important to note that when Minn Kota and hummingbird when when they make the old trexes they make the the 360s they they make them to cover a wide array of scenarios whether it's a boat with a really high bow or uh whatever you know the 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 Ultrax comes in a in a 46 inch shaft, a 52 inch shaft, and a 60 inch shaft. So uh, this long shaft on the 360 is designed to be long so that it can accommodate any scenario. So like in this case, Jim's about maxed out. You can see there's not much clearance between the Ultrax here and the top of the shaft. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna shorten this down and make more clearance so that way he can bring his 360 up. All you need is for these two, those two sensors right there. That's what determines whether or not you're in the water. All you need is for that to be underwater. So it doesn't matter whether it's an inch underwater or a foot underwater. That's, that's the, how the 360 knows that it's underwater. So you should be able to pull it up as high as you need to. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do and again, uh, we're referencing Ott Defoe's video. He made a great video, and we're copying that. But um, he says you can cut down seven inches. We're going to cut off seven inches here, so that's what we're going to do. First thing you need to do is this rubber piece right here, it just pulls right out. You can see the, the, it holds the cables. All it's there for is to keep the cables from getting damaged on the end. This is sharp right here, and this rubber rubber piece just protects your cables that's all that's there for so i'm gonna slide this up slide it up and out out of the way 
Okay. All right, next thing. We're going to measure seven inches. I'm just going to make a mark here. So you got our measuring tape, seven inches. Just make you a little scratch. You can see this doesn't have to be exact. I mean, there's still going to be plenty of room. Just make you a, a spot so that you can know where your mark is. So that's our mark right there. All right, the next thing is you got you have to protect your your cables. So I found that this old dull sawzall blade it is the perfect size to slide in here. And so I actually I did grind down the teeth just a hair to make it fit, but you just simply if you look the cables run down through the middle of this shaft and if you will slide if you will slide this in there that will effectively protect our blade from ever touching the cables this is really important guys if you nick one of these cables you got to buy a new you're, 360 you're done that's it so <laughs> 300 dollars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah so um, this this piece of metal here is going to protect your sawzall blade from ever coming in contact. Okay, so it's really important to know how far down your blade is. Now we're going to cut this off in sections and move down until we get to our mark right there. Okay, so I know this blade is not the entire seven inches, but we're going to just section this down. So next thing you want to do, put your blade in or whatever piece of metal, and we're just going to simply put a zip tie on there we're using a zip tie you can use whatever you want that just holds the blade just in place something to hold it in place that's it and we'll rotate that around to where all that's down okay so now you can shine in there you can see that blade that piece of metal is protecting the cables there now I, I did this on this way on mine where I just left it secured in the bracket. I mean, you can do that or you can take it completely out, undo your, your 360. It's kind of good because it'll hold it. Yeah, it holds it steady. So next thing, start cutting. Again, I can't stress enough, be super careful not to nick any cables. So what we're going to want to do, you're going to want to cut down. And as you go down, every now and then, just, just go down. And now you're going to hit the blade, but just go down and section it off. And that way you can see exactly where you are. So here we go. Step back just a little bit. Position. Alright, as you get down, we're going to start cutting down so we can see where we are. Now, as I go down, I'm going into the metal, so I'm not going to cut the cable. See where we are? You're just gonna ride that blade down. Let's cut a little more. Go back down again.
Next section down. All right, next thing. Going to, we're going to cut this part down, then we're going to move the blade down. So we're going to pull our zip tie back, pull the blade out, and then I'm going to ask Jim to hold that there, and I'm going to cut down through there. Repeat the process. And we're gonna keep going until we get to this mark right here. This is our was seven that, inch. Was that mark. our mark? That's our mark. Yep. <laughs> you do. <laughs> section down the all the while we're protected from the cable Repeat the process of shooting it up again. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna hold that. So we're just incrementally cutting down this shaft be yeah, real, like a little two or three inch pieces yeah, at a time just be real careful we're trying to be extremely careful here okay down this is gonna be the last cut because this is our mark this is where we're going to okay down there to the mark all right then this is the last cut down There we go. All right, so now all we have to do is cut this bottom side off, and then we're gonna file it smooth, and we're all done. You don't cut your face or fall back or anything. You in a good position, you've got good balance. Bam, there she is. Okay. All right, now that we've got that down, next, you're gonna wanna take your file, and all you're gonna wanna do is try and smooth this up right here. So that way, when your rubber, rubber piece goes back over there, it's going to 
protect the cable again. It's just gonna slide right down. So I'm gonna take it again. Be careful. See, it just files it right down. Here's our final product. We've got it filed down, pretty smooth. I'm gonna wipe it off. Get that tape off. Tape off. Okay. Now, I'm gonna run this down, down your cable, just like so. And you're just gonna shove it right back in there. And it just pops in. It just pops in. It just It's just a compression feeding, so to speak. And there it is. All right, so here's uh, the finished product. Uh, my pole used to come up to about here. And we trimmed it down, got it all back in. Uh, the slack wire I uh, put here in my cable wrap. And we're testing it. We put a wet paper towel across the nodes and 360 is running. So mission accomplished and I'm happy with it. So Chris, I wanted to thank you for coming out and doing this for me. And here's the disclaimer. We're not responsible if you cut your own cable. Uh, this was mine, I was taking the risk. And Chris had done one on his boat and he did it for mine, but no, you know, we're not responsible for any damages that you cause on your own 360 pole. Anything you'd like to add? Just be real careful. <laughs> it can be done. Just go slow. Be real careful, just like we did. And you can customize it to make it your own. All right. Hummingbird Minn Kota, y'all. They got the best tools in the business. Got uh, Hummingbird Target Lock with Mega Live. Hummingbird 360, Mega 360, and then the Minn Kota Ultrax. And uh, those of you who follow my channel, y'all know I run Solixes. I got two 12s up here and a 15 at the console. So, and Chris runs virtually the same thing. Same setup. Yep. So, hey guys, thanks for watching this video. This is Big Jim with Big Jim Fishing. Like, subscribe, all that crap, and we'll see you on the next one.